Welcome or welcome back on C-square. In this video clip we're going to look how to multiply rational expression and we're going to discuss about how to multiply rational expression involving polynomials like this. So how are we going to do this? The way you do it is by, in fact, factoring. Okay, so the first rational expression, x minus 3 over 2x plus 1, cannot be factored out. However, if we like, take a look on the second one, we have 4x plus 2, we can factor out a 2, and then a 2x plus 1, right, inside of the parentheses, and here x plus 3. Okay. If you notice, we have these two guys, we can simplify these two guys, and that's it. The final answer is 2 times x minus 3, the quantity x minus 3 over x plus 3. Okay, pause this video clip and try number 14. If you end up with x plus 1 over x minus 1, then you did a wonderful job. Let's take a look to two more examples. Uh, and again, the same story. We're going to need to factor out. So what about 3x squared minus 7x plus 2? Okay, uh, 3 times 2 is 6, right? So we're looking for two numbers whose product is 6. The sum is negative negative 7 and that will be negative 6 and negative 1 I'm going to use the box method now to factor out so we have 3x squared here to negative 6x and negative 1 and now we're going to look to the GCF the greatest common factor for each row and each column 1x here so we're going to have x here and 2 here 3x here, the GCF, right, and here 1. And both of them should be negative. So uh, 3x squared minus 7x plus 2 is nothing else than 3x minus 1 times x minus 2. Okay, what about x squared minus 5x plus 6? That is a simple problem, simpler than the previous one. I think the product is 6, the sum is negative 5. We have negative 3 and negative 2. So we have x minus 3 and x minus 2 times, and let's take a look to the second rational expression. x squared minus 9, difference of squared, if you remember. x minus 3, x plus 3. And uh, what about the 6x minus 2? We can factor out the 2 and we have here 3x minus 1. And let's see now what we can simplify. If you notice 3x minus 1 here, 3x minus 1 here, they cancel out, right? x minus 2 and x minus 2, x minus 3, x minus 3. So the final answer for this problem will be x plus 3 over 2. So again, the idea here is to factor out and simplify the factors. Pause this video clip and try number 16. If you end up with this answer for number 16, x plus 2 over 2, then you did a wonderful job. So again, the idea of multiplying rational expression is in fact to factor out and then simplify the common factors. If you enjoyed these video clips, don't forget to click the like button down right and come back on C-square for more video clips. Thank you.